What's up guys, it's Unders. Here we are with another Logic tutorial. And today I'm just gonna show you how you can manipulate the tempo in Logic Pro so you can do crazy things like this. That was just a short section from a track I'm working on that goes from 174.9 BPM right the way down to sort of the 140 region. It actually goes down to 139.9. So it basically switches from drum and bass to dubstep for a breakdown and then builds back up into dubstep. And it's actually super easy to do in Logic, but it's kind of like a hidden away thing. Um, just happened that I got asked the question of how to do it. So I thought I'd show you guys and I had this track in the works, which was mad and out of there. So at the minute we've got the automation lanes open. Don't need them at all. Just hit A, go back to a regular track, loads of audio going on. What we need to do is access the global tracks. So if we hit G, so it's gonna drop a bunch of things down here. So I've got a load of arrangement markers set up. That's kind of important for when you want to do tempo manipulation and move sections around if you're gonna play around with your arrangement. So it's worth doing that. Um, I don't really care about the names, they're just cut out into blocks so I can move stuff around. What's important here is tempo. We need to make sure that that is uh, editable basically for what we want to do. And if we go up here into tempo, we need to make sure this is set into keep in this case as well. And then whatever we're doing there can be set. So this works a lot like an automation lane. You can zoom into it and manipulate it. So essentially here we can just draw points in and choose our tempo and we, we're gonna scroll them to the amount that we want. We can use the handle here, just like on automation in some other DAWs for a curve. Um, you don't need to activate that handle, it's always there. I know you do for the rest of like automation within Logic. In this instance, we don't need to do that. Um, it's just automatically there, so we can curve it in so we can get this effect. Now we can have it so it slopes back in as well. Uh, um, in this instance, I just had it so it snapped straight back up, but we could give it a bit of space here and we could curve it back in like so. Um, what I've done instead is given it like a bit of a, giving it a bit of a drop down actually, and then it just snaps back into full tempo. And that's it really. So we need to make sure we've got it on keep because um, if we have an auto, it's going to start listening to other bits of the audio and it fluctuates, not what you're after in this instance. So we just hit G to get the global tracks up or we can click the little icon just up here. And from there, we can just use it like an automation lane. Now, if you move any of these sections around that I set here in the arrangements, it'll move the tempo automation with it as well, which is super useful when you've uh, got two sections that drop out. I hope that was helpful for you guys and I will see you on the next video.